Hello YouTube, this is Fortnite Fails, JJ coming back to you with another video from Nintendo Life. Twitch streamers banned for playing Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity. Highland Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity has been available in certain countries like Australia, New Zealand, and Japan for nearly a day now. While you think this would mean it's safe to stream the game on a platform like Twitch, it seems not as a number of streamers have been temporarily banned for um, 48 hours. This has seemingly happened to multiple streamers. There's no clear reason as to what exactly has gone wrong. So we're thinking it's either a time zone issue, the local embargo of the U.S., embargo for the U.S., or perhaps it might be Nintendo taking some extra precautions after a game was reportedly leaked earlier this week. Okay, so this is a Twitter picture from a Twitter screenshot from Y. Live. This is a Twitter picture um, of live reversals. Twitter, bro, that I just get banned on Twitch for an age of calamity. The Twitch ban is 48 hours. My takedown mail. I've got a mail address where I can contact at Nintendo America regarding the DMCA takedown. I'll mail them momentarily and keep you all posted. I hope I can get. The strike on a Twitch removed because I do own a legal copy of the game. If we hear anything else, we'll be sure to let you know. What are your thoughts about all of this? Tell us below. If he's being banned because, um, what you call it, it's not in the right time zone. He's American, an American streamer streaming this game. And it's not released in America. I really don't think that should be happening. And it feels like if it's not, there's really no other reason other than Nintendo doesn't quite know what it's doing with their system. I'm going to read some of the comments. Franklin. And before the tedious, sanctimonious, and before comments. Yeah, that has nothing to do with the article. Should be a time zone issue. Nintendo wouldn't dare hit the backbone of the gaming industry and by that I mean of course the almighty twitch streamer right scene Don 29 Nintendo draconian lawyers are really on a roll this week aren't they yeah I think Nintendo was a bit ridiculous cuz I mean I was remembering the Sony the, um, soldier boy versus Nintendo where soldier boy had a bunch of consoles that looked a bit like Nintendo's but, um, and say how to game some games that look like Nintendo's. And people was going in on Soldier Boy, but these consoles existed before Soldier Boy ever put his name on it and ever had a, and before he ever had a website selling his stuff on there. Nintendo was not there then. There was no need to go after Soldier Boy. The only reason why I think you should, people, Nintendo went after Soldier Boy is because. This dude's a popular dude. This thing was blowing up. He's making some money off of this. And it was like, no, 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 no. We want that money. Because you're making a bit more than a pox and pocket change. At least for him, anyway. For Nintendo, that is pocket change. Here's another one from No Tender Life. Besides region free, now we need time zone free. Hot Goomba Reban? That just sucks. Hopefully this strike is removed. And that's going to be all for this video. Please like, comment, share, subscribe. Put your thoughts down below. And I'll see you next time.